Hello there, uh, I'm Rekha Preetam, Corporate Master Trainer and guess who I have here with me today. So I have with me Ms. Shraddha Jain. Oops, I think I missed it. Popularly and well known as none other than Ayo Shraddha. So today we are going to know about this audio book, Taming Urban Indians. So Shraddha, uh, you have been a, a radio artist, you yes. have been a television host, yes. you have been a comedian, an actress, a yes. content writer, a content creator and yes, an audiobook narrator. Yes. So how do you feel about playing these various roles and you have been doing it and you have been still playing these yeah, roles? And I think that ensures that there's no boredom. So every day is a new day and I'm reading an audiobook today, tomorrow I'm adding, I'm acting in an ad. Uh, the next day I'm writing content, another day I'm performing stand-up. So every day is a new day. What joy. Yeah. Oh, that's great. That really sounds exciting. Yeah, yeah. So Shraddha, why an audio book? Uh, you have been narrating an audio book. You have done an audio book in the fiction category. Yes, and I, I have. This is your first one in the non-fiction one. Yes, it is. So why exploring in the world of audio Because you just said it, first one. So anything that's, oh, first time, never done before, I want to do. So yeah, didn't do before and... Uh, I think anything in the audio sonic space uh, is very attractive because of you know my radio background. So love being in the studio, working with sound, always always nice. Excellent. So that's all about creating new, exploring new avenues anything and new journeys. Anything new, yeah. Anything new that anybody else people think that you know you can do this. Whether I believe I can do it or not, if somebody says hey you can do this, I say yeah why not, <laughs> and I jump straight at it. That's great, Sadia. <laughs> Uh, Shraddha, can you just share with us your experience of narrating this audio book? It says Taming Urban Indians. Yeah. So what is it all about? Yeah, it's a, it's not a very, uh, uh, the title uh, can throw you off a little bit, right? When it says Taming Urban Indians. Right? You know, I'm an urban Indian and if somebody was to say, oh, let's tame you. I'd be like, oh, hello, excuse me, can you come again? So, uh, but I think the book very wonderfully explains uh, why the word tame probably uh, is more befitting than coaching or training or uh, you know improving or uh, because of uh, how critical this virtue is or how critical it is uh, to have civic sense uh, and how uh, urban Indians are um, falling so short in this category in this quality and hence probably taming is is more the kind of dose that we need so that that yeah. made you more excited towards this it's a very uh, it's a very intriguing title yes and uh civic sense or the lack of it i think every one of us has actually either complained about it or you know sort of ranted about it uh being guilty of so yeah i think it's uh, it's a subject that uh, we all should address and uh, work on definitely because nobody's untouched by the lack of civic sense in our country everybody has been a victim perpetrator uh, you know culprit of uh, wrongdoing in the civic sense in the etiquette space yeah so very very important so very truly said uh, Shraddha but uh, being a, a, a urban Indian you know uh, we always are been accustomed with this urban noise and with this ever growing impatience that we have in yes. today's world. Yes. I don't think we have the patience to listen to something like this with our daily mayhem. So what do you feel about it? I think uh, if we have the patience to binge watch 13 episodes of a web series on you know these OTT platforms, I think listening to an ebook like this while we are you know on driving. Uh, we listen to music, listen to something like this, uh, should not really uh, be a problem. And we have no problems with sitting in one place and binge watching, like I said, web series. Five minutes a day of this, one chapter, it's got what, nine chapters, uh, a chapter a day should not be that difficult. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Shada, something that uh, that got my attention was when I was listening to your audio book on taming in urban Indians, mm. uh, you brought out some very compelling stories and also real life examples to portray, you know, the lack of uh, yeah. uh, civic sensitivity in people today. Yeah. Uh, so what are your uh, views on this? What do you feel about it? Oh, the, the, the story because you are also a civic... Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you are also... Indian, right? Absolutely. An urban Indian. Absolutely. So all the stories, of course, are uh, 
Alistair Roberts, the author, and uh, and as I was reading uh, these stories out and his experiences out, I said, oh, this has happened to us too, or this is something we have seen too, whether it is, you know, advising foreign tourists what to do with the trash, what to do with banana skin, that effect though. I know, I know, yeah. Uh, so, they're like, hmm, this I have seen, and you know, this has happened, and I know exactly what he's uh, uh, talking about. So, and... And these are uh, instances we have spoken about, laughed at and, you know, uh, ridiculed people and saying, my God, look at that person. You know, it looks like he's working in a big corporate, but look at how he spits and, you know, he just threw that teacup. You know, you would have seen these child tailors, you know, in IT campuses <laughs> where true, these, yes. you know, people who work for IT campuses, they have their tea in those paper cups and just fling it and go. And how many times have you not seen that, you know, while being in traffic, either driving or in a bus and saying, my God, how can you do something like this? So I feel the angst uh, that the author feels. And, you know, I said, yeah. Yeah, something that I think all of us have been doing, ridiculing it at certain times Absolutely. and, you know, maybe Absolutely. also following it at certain Absolutely. times. Absolutely. Also, right? there are some portions in the book where I felt, ha, chalo, this I don't do. So, next time I would not <laughs> be doing this. Right? Yeah, also, yeah. So, you know, the thing like, the thing about not not using plastic, something that we follow very religiously in our house and I feel, ha, ah, good. Otherwise, you know, I would have been made an example in this book. So, yeah. I know. Not, very relatable. Thanks, thanks for that, Shraddha, because you were very spontaneous in the entire audio book, you Thank know. We you. could feel that you were narrating to whatever was happening in the Thank audio book. Yeah. yeah, that's really great. Shraddha, you are a very creative person, right? So with your satire comedy, the pure mm -hmm. comedies that you bring in and yes. so on. Yeah. Uh, do you plan to sometime bring out a gig to bring out this lack of uh, civic sensitivity in the urban Indians? Do you plan something like that very soon? Of course... Uh, we would like the hilarious and your thought yeah, provoking ones. Yeah, I think, see, these are topics that uh, as a person, I think about a lot. It's very top of the mind, lack of civic sense. So, uh, I think it would creep into my writing of my stand-up content and it will be there in, in some form or the other. Lack of, uh, you know, us being inconsiderate is something that... Uh, will find its way into my writing when I do stand up, my, my stand up sets that I'm writing. Uh, of course, sp speak about it in a very lighter way because that's really my first promise to my audience. I know, that, that I will that, entertain that's, you. That's that's what is Shraddha known for. Right? Yeah, and that's my first promise, right? And if I don't do that, I'm not doing my job well. So my first promise is entertainment. And I hope, uh, you know, while doing that, if uh, I can say something, that can make people think, reflect, or as one of the chapters of the book says, introspect. I think it'll be, wow, that's, nothing better, that's, nothing better. That's that's really nice. Uh, Shraddha, what other topics do you think would interest you to maybe you know, narrate another audio book or a podcast or any formats that we have today? What would be a nice uh, topic for, uh, oh, wow, uh, so many, right? So many things that I want to uh, uh, hear about. I think, um, I think one of the topics I, I, I that it, think it's, I've it's, got you thinking now. Yeah, <laughs> it, the, the, the book actually touches upon, you know, sharing your opinion and how to share it, how to listen. Uh, I'm sure there are books uh, about this, but uh, um, I feel comedy and its limits, does it have a limit at all? Should there be a limit? And uh, I think that, that would be a nice topic to think about because, you know, comedy seems to have offended a lot of Indians in the recent yes. times. Yes. So, yeah, let's... I would love to hear a perspective on, okay, comedy and its limits. Is there any limit at all? Or should comedians look at themselves? Or should com comedians have complete abandon when they present their craft? I mean, it's, it's a conundrum, really. Sometimes I think about it and I say, hmm... You know, should a comedian be absolutely fearless and go there and actually tease a person's sensibilities and say, okay, let's see. That's good. You know. I think yeah. we have we have got you thinking now <laughs> what we want to do next. And we would yeah. be definitely eagerly waiting, oh, uh, you. you know, uh, to, to get on a topic like this from you very soon. Very, very difficult topic. But yeah, lovely. <laughs> I would love to hear. I would love to read something uh, along these lines. But yeah, it would be lovely. All right, so thank you so much, Shraddha. Truly admire your multifaceted talent. And I think that's something that all of us really, really enjoy. And she keeps us entertaining. She keeps us going. And I think 
a big thanks to you. Thank you. For making this industry so very Aww. entertaining and Thank full of you. fun and laughter. Thank you yeah. so much. This was a great opportunity. And I think uh, uh, I read the book, which also means I read the book. <laughs> so, yeah, I've ticked book of the month by reading this book for myself and for others. So, tremendously grateful for this opportunity. Thank you so much. That's great. Thank That's you. Great. Thank you so much, Shraddha. And uh, here's Ayush Shraddha once to again book. to you. Yeah. <laughs> coming up with one new topic. And that's yeah. nothing but te how and civic sensibilities makes yeah. a lot of sense to Indians today and why we need to change the culture and bring about the change in our entire uh, structure or the way the society works. Sure. So thanks once again. Shruta. Listen okay. wherever you get, you get your audiobooks from. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.